Coffee County residents will pay more for their car tags beginning this year. The increase will fund the Sheriff's Department and District Attorney offices. Here's News 4's Michaela Simmons. Beginning in October, those living in Coffee County will have to pay $8 more on their car tags this year. State funds won't sustain the District Attorney's office, but that's not enough. DA's offices do receive state funding, but our level is approximately 40% of our overall budget. And then the rest of it has to be generated locally through court costs um, and, and things like traffic tickets um, and deferred prosecution. There's been a gap in revenue uh, because uh, populations continue to grow but not everybody pays their court costs on time. $3 of the $8 increase will go to the DA's office. The remainder of the $8 increase is earmarked to the Coffee County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Scott Burt blames a law that removed mandatory pistol permits for dwindling revenues. We want people to still buy permits, but they obviously don't. That stream has dried up. So when that stream dried up, we have had a deficit here at the office and we, have, we are growing. Um, population of Coffee County is growing, so we have to grow too. We asked on Facebook for people's opinion on this increase and some were not happy. But Tarbox says this bill is needed to keep Coffee County running smoothly. This is not something that anybody likes. It has become necessary because of the times that we live in and because of financial realities about how our office in particular is funded. In Coffee County, Michaela Simmons, your hometown news leader.